In this video, we'll go over the mass paint node and its usage. The purpose of this node is to create a black and white mask used alongside nodes like Content Aware and Scene Removal. The node on its own will have no effect, as it needs an input for a background to draw on top of. We can either place a full material set or a single bitmap into the input. Now when we double click on the node, we can see our options on the right hand side and our paintbrush in the 2D window. Note that if you have nothing selected and then single click the node, your paint options won't show up. So just make sure to double click on the node. Now we can start painting. To change the brush size, we can either use the tool palette on the right or hold control right mouse to adjust the size of the brush. To start painting, we can just use the left click on our mouse. To erase, press E to switch to the eraser brush. To switch back to paint mode, just press B for brush. By holding shift and clicking, you can draw straight lines like this. Your standard brush settings are located on the tool options, like angle flow and hardness. Lastly, we have color and opacity settings located at the bottom. Just to be clear, these are for purely for visual reference and do not reflect the output at all. So if I change the color to red and lower the opacity, I'll still get a full black and white output. To show what I mean, we'll add a levels node and note that it'll always output in black and white, no matter what color and opacity that I apply to it. In this example, I've used the mass paint to paint areas to be used in the content aware fill to remove the weeds from the original material. Here, I've painted the mossy parts of the bark to be used in the ignore input of the scene removal node. Lastly, I'm taking two bitmaps and painting a mass between the two and using it as a standard blend.